what's at stake. Just a point required to guarantee their passage through to the knockout stages. We'll have it live on EA TV. And hello from northern Germany. We're at the Volkspark-Stadion in the great city of Hamburg. I'm Derek Ray, your match commentator, and alongside providing all the tactical and technical analysis, it's Stuart Robson. And we've got Europa League group stage action to look forward to this evening. What might we see today, Stuart? Well, Derek, I've enjoyed watching them play so far. So too have the fans. Let's hope we see another good display today and they guarantee their qualification. And this Europa League group stage confrontation commences. Zakanyi losing possession. Brun Larsen. Can he put it in? As you can see, he gave the keeper no chance there. He looked so confident, didn't he? That's a cool finish. Felipe Anderson. He's taken on his opponents here. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. Bruno Larson. This looks threatening. Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance. And then through on goal, you never really had any doubt that he wouldn't slot that away. It's a cool finish. So back underway with the lead standing at 2-0. Snuffing out of the cross there. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. Can they find a gap in the defence? lining it up well getting in the way superb save delivering it well no problems defensively Intercepting it intelligently. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. All hands on deck. Really poor timing, and some will argue that he was asking for a yellow card. Well, the referee saw it as a bookable offence. And I think he's got it absolutely right. That was a poor challenge, you have to say. Plenty of support here. 
could be. And a goal. Not over just yet. Well, just look at this again. Great technique, good accuracy, and enough power to beat the keeper. That's an excellent goal. So the ball is rolling again. 2-1 the score. What's going to happen next? And a good-looking ball. Felipe Anderson. Magnificent challenge to win it back. Can he find the net? And the keeper stretching to deny him. He's driven in the corner. Wonderful header. Excellent goalkeeping. And another corner hot on the heels of the last one. Who can they pick out? Real need to get rid of it. He'll be delighted to have won the ball having made that difficult challenge. Applying vigorous pressure. Well, that'll be a free kick. And a quick reminder, Bundesliga action coming up live here on EA TV. It's Hamburg against Hertha. I'm really looking forward to that. Two entertaining teams in what should be a really feisty affair. That's a good-looking ball. But no, the flag is up and it's offside. Malinowski. Gibril so. Ball with Luis Alberto. Take it away. The supporters want to see him have a go. They've gone and scored again. They're doing everything in their power to make sure they're not pegged back. Well, it's a goal you'd expect him to score, but he kept his cool and he put it away nicely. He'll be happy with that. And there goes the half-time whistle. Well, a bright and positive performance so far. Interested to get your take, Stuart. Well, they're doing what they can here, but they can't affect what's going on in the other game. I thought it was a good first 45 minutes from them. They just need to carry this through into the second half. So the second half is underway in this Europa League group stage confrontation. Nice switch of play. Nicely timed tackle. Oh, surely! 
Well, good technique in terms of how he struck it. And they're making a change. Luis Alberto. Yusuf and Nesiri. Useful looking position, you've got to say. Well, showing excellent judgment to intercept. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Boy. And a decent save, full credit. And there's the delivery. Well, the danger is still there. Boy. And a goal! What a magnificent display! It's such a one-sided contest here. Well, here it is again, and the clearance just isn't good enough. Giving up possession in a dangerous area, just poor defending all round. Goals and plentiful supply. 4-1 currently. Zakanyi. Oh, the threat is there. That's a useful cross. Oh, yes! Dispatching it with a plum. Wonderful goal. Well, here we can see it again. Look at the way he glides past the defender to create space for himself. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. So the current scoreline, 4-2. Robin Hack. How can they exploit the space out wide? Very quick thinking there. Well, let's see if something comes of this. And it's through here. Well, the stats confirm it. Hamburg have had more of the ball, and they've made good use of it. They really have played some good attacking football, and they look like scoring more. Well, let's see if they can win the ball back and create something else. Can't miss, surely! And able to get a body in the way. 
Luis Alberto. Could reduce the deficit. Oh, magnificent from the keeper. Fantastic stop. Alberto. Must be. Oh, another goal. You just cannot keep them down. And it sets up a furious finish. Well, let's take another look. And wow, how cleanly does he hit that? The keeper was never going to save it. What a good goal that is. Well, how about this? 4-3. Robin Hack. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. A bit of pressing. Can he take the chance? And up for grabs off the keeper and thumped away. And still looking to get the shot away. He'll be breathing a sigh of relief. Ball one. Breaking at pace. Well, taking into account all the stoppages, two minutes to be added on. Takes it on. Great chance to make it a brace, but the keeper had his say. Well, he has to get a second goal soon. He's been brilliant today. And a substitution in the offing. Trying to pick out a teammate. It hasn't come to very much. And the referee blows for full time. This man has given us plenty of reasons to dwell on his performance, hasn't he, Stuart? Well, that performance sums him up, really. You're never disappointed with what he gives you. He's such a good player. The man of the moment. Will he shine against his former club? We're live next, so don't go anywhere. And hello, talking to you today from a football stadium that really could pass for a museum, the Olympiastadion in the German capital, Berlin. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson and looking forward to bringing you action from the Bundesliga. It is Hertha Berlin, and they face Hamburg. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward, and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. And the match begins. He's beaten his man. Determined defending. A possession lost by Hamburg. And he's alone in the middle by the look of things. And a goal! Not wasting much time today. They strike first. Well, here's the replay, and what a well-delivered cross this is. Perfectly placed, and while the finish might not be the cleanest of strikes, it's still good enough to beat the keeper. What a lovely goal that is.
So the match has restarted. 1 0 here. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Still looking to get the shot off. It looked as though it had a chance of going in for the equaliser. It was close, it was a decent effort, just need to keep plugging away now and surely the goal will come. That was interesting to look at the table and what can we say about these runaways for want of a better word? Well, they're in a great position at the moment, as you mentioned, Derek, and you have to say their football has been exhilarating at times. If they can keep everybody fit, they should win the title comfortably. Well, on you go, says the referee. Advantage. You can't really tackle like that and expect to get away with it. Booking to come, you would think. And a yellow card for that, Stuart. And he's going to have to be careful now. That was a silly challenge. <laughs> Robin Hack. Demirovic. Oh, he's really opened them up here. Boy. Well, he'll be irked with himself. Ran into an offside position. Well, there's been quite the focus on him coming into today's game. Up against his old club, and that's never easy for a footballer. A mixture of emotions. Well, I have to say, I never really played well against my old clubs. I always felt the spotlight was on me. I think he might find it difficult today. And it's still on. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. Corner kick awarded. And let's see if this will help them add to their lead. It might still be problematic. Element of risk there, but he's won the ball. Could be a chance to break here. I understand there's been a goal at the VBK Arena, but who has scored it? Alex Scott can provide it. This could level it. And it is the equaliser. Parity now. And who's to say what's going to happen next? Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. So back underway, following the equaliser. Well, apologies to Alex. Sometimes when exciting things happen, we have to cut her off. We don't do it too often, of course. Just to confirm, Dortmund did score in that match. And their lead stands at 1-0 presently. It might be the moment to get them ahead. Well, what a stop that was. Teammates available. Boy. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. But not quite what was needed. I really thought they were going to open up the defence. That's a lovely ball. Nicely timed tackle. Well, good idea, but just a little bit too much on the ball. And we will have just one additional minute. Half time then, that will do it for the first half here at the Berliner Olympiastadion.
Christmas man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I really liked his first half display. He was certainly the most influential player on the field, and I'm expecting more of the same in the second 45 minutes. And as the second half commences, both sides can reflect on a first half in which they were so very evenly matched. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. And cutting in from the flank. Oh, could be! Ball is loose! And there it is! An almost intuitive piece of finishing! Well, here it is again, and I feel a bit sorry for the goalkeeper. He makes a good save to start with, but where are his defenders following in? Instead, it's the attacker who's alert. He gets to the ball first, and it's a good finish. So, back underway. Intriguing contest, this, given the 2-1 scoreline. And he's beaten him here. This looks promising, but nothing comes of it. Well, news coming through of a penalty in one of the other matches, and Alex Scott can fill us in. Yeah, Augsburg were awarded the penalty, hit it straight down the middle. The keeper dived, but he had no chance. They are now down 2-1 with 53 minutes played. Thanks as always to Alex Scott. Danilo Pereira. Here's Boetius. It's with Danilo Pereira. Armando Broya. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball. He might be able to carve something out. And space to cross it. This could square the game. And that's exactly what has transpired. Now, that could be a massive turning point, and momentum is with them. Well, just look at this again. He moves the ball quickly, he gets beyond his marker, and he keeps his composure. It's an excellent finish. And they're making a change. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Here's one to look forward to in the third round of the DFB Pokal. Live here on EA TV. It's Hamburg and they'll be taking on Freiburg. Well, only 16 teams left, so that game will be fiercely competitive. Really looking forward to it. Will he finish? And that was simply miles off target. Well, I think he's right to go for power, but he's made the wrong connection, and it's really poor technique in the end. Unable to keep the ball. Fernandez. The referee correctly decided to play advantage. Toussaint. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. And he has options available. Boy. Dangerous ball. Well, they can keep possession now. And news of a goal at the VVK Arena. And with full details, here's Alex Scott. It's another goal for Augsburg. The game's all level again at 2-2 with 74 minutes played. 
Alex keeping us right up to date. Boyle. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. With the try. Determined block. Not advantage with them. Referee says play on. Hamburg unable to hold on to the ball. And still on the lookout for the goal that could be so important at this juncture. Must take the lead here. And read the danger magnificently. Well, if he gets this wrong, a penalty and a sending off. But he was spot on with his challenge. Good bit of pressing. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. Oh, a goal! And is that going to be the one that wins it for them? There's every chance. And the fans are lapping this up. Well, let's look at this again. To pick out this pass shows wonderful vision. It's inch perfect. And then the finish is fairly simple in the end. That's a good goal. Here it is now, a substitution. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. So approaching the final whistle, and the visitor is on course to lose narrowly here. Stuart, what have you made of it? Well, it's certainly been exciting, but can they find an equaliser here? They've created so many chances throughout the game, but they just need the ball to drop kindly in the box from a cross or a set play. It's going to be a frantic finale to this match. Oh, and the flag goes up. Well, he needs to be more aware there. He didn't work hard enough to stay on side. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. This could square the game. Big chance it is. Oh, a goal! That levels it in the closing phase of this game. Well, here's the replay, and he shows great awareness to play this through ball. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And that is going to be all for this game. Well, we were treated to goals, but no winners in the end. Stuart, what did you make of it? Well, Derek, it was certainly entertaining. Both sides had periods of the game where they were dominant, but overall, I think a draw is just about the right result.